Native American people, those people we wrongly refer to as Indians, may have a few clues to help us live healthier and happier. We're meeting now Grey Wolf, who comes from the Inupiat tribe in northern Alaska. And you're now living in Cornubia, where you're involved in helping people spiritually and also conducting sweat lodges. Can you tell me about your, your spiritual view of the world? We've been told many, many years ago about the uh, going back to the one. Uh, many, many people in modern societies think of just the human being rather than the totalness of, of the universe, of the Earth Mother. And it, in spirituality, everything is included our brothers and sisters of the root brothers, you know, the plants. They're alive, they have spirit, the animals. And do you think a lot of the diseases and problems we have today, particularly degenerative diseases like cancer, are due to the fact that we've lost touch with this universal sense of being? Yes, the, the biggest difficulty with with the illnesses, no matter what they are, is that people hold on to the energy. And energy is, you know, when the Creator made the earth and said, this is be a place for the human beings and moved on. It didn't stop the energy just to be held here on the earth mother, but the energy flows. When people get have an illness such as cancer is they hold on to the past. They hold on to anger. They hold on to hate. They hold on to jealousy. And they wish that they could pull that energy back so they could feel good. And if they don't, then they get negative. And all that energy is stagnated, held in. Now, Grey Wolf, you're conducting sweat lodges, traditional Indian sweat lodges, mm -hmm. where you get into a, a teepee-like structure and you sweat it out. Mm -hmm. And this is happening here in Brisbane at Cornubia, on your property. Yes. Uh, is this part of the healing process? It's part of the healing pro process, but it's also uh, a cultural thing that we know that we've been doing for approximately 60,000 years. The, the Energy in people sometimes may get rusty, if you will, if you hold on to things. You know. Releasing and letting go, being free, feeling the joy of life, feeling that happiness is being free. When we go into a sweat, we do a smudging first to cleanse ourselves on the outside. When we go into a sweat lodge and do our ceremonies, we are cleansing the inside. People look at things out there for happiness. But when they go out there, they begin to feel good in here. And the sweat lodge is a ceremony to where we can do that because we not only honor the human beings, we honor air, earth, fire, water, the four elements that keeps us alive. And we pray for that every day. When's the last time have you prayed for water? Well, you've when's certainly... The, when's the last time you've prayed for air? Exactly. Okay, we do this all the time because this is part of our life. It's a fascinating area, and I think you've opened up quite a lot of windows for a lot of people, and it'll be an interesting experience to share. Thank you, mm. Grey Wolf, for sharing it with us. Oh, thank you.